we talking about the band of Holyfield. Was yeah, it? yeah, we did mention that. Um, the real deal. The real deal. Mm -hmm. Holyfield. He like seventy now, right? <laughs> nah, he's fifty nine. Okay, damn near. Right. So, so it's been a big trend. Celebrity boxing. You got uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, the white guy YouTuber. Uh, Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. Logan Jake, Paul. Jake Paul. Jake True, Paul's right? a fighter, right? Logan, yeah, Logan Jake Paul. Fight? Yeah, but Jake Paul's one of more successful. I guess. Yeah, he just he had, had that fight with the M Yeah, he just had to fight with uh, I forgot whatever Tyron that. Tyron Woodley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he won by split decision. Yeah, yeah, you know, Tyron Woodley's been on the decline for. Uh, minute, well, so he's so been on the decline fighting. Yeah. Top tier five star mixed martial artist. Right. I mean, you can't kind compare. Of losing, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, losing to Kamaru Usman mm -hmm. and losing to Jake Paul are two very different things. Like right. there should, there still should have been an expectation of Woodley, and he like you know hurt Paul. Like I think he either dropped him or had him on the ropes. I, I don't pay for that type of shit. Yeah. I didn't see mm -hmm. the fight. But um, well, he didn't finish him. No, he didn't finish him. And, and that's what we Jake Paul won by split decision, which and, is always questionable. Obviously, because you're leaving it up to the judges in a, in a, in a Jake Paul-friendly environment. And that's what a professional fighter like Tyron Woodley is not supposed to do. Correct. To I mean, but, you know, so his Jake credit Paul is like his first four or five inches taller. He's like 30 pounds. The size matters. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, yeah, I'm, this man's experienced. He is, but, but yeah, Jake Paul is boxing, trained, man. man. Like, for all boxing. of Tyron Woodley's experience, you know, say what you want for Jake Paul, but he ain't doing shots boxing. with his life. But training as a professional boxer, like exactly. and, and there, there comes a line, there comes a line where it's, it's, it's no longer a fraud boxer. and and it's, it approaches seriousness. What you would, I guess, what the people would kind of want, and it, it's it's not exactly apples to apples, but he's kind of on that Tommy Morrison trek. Remember the Duke yeah. from Rocky Five? Like, I mm -hmm. mean, once people found out he was John Wayne's descendant and he had a, a punch, and he can fight, he mm -hmm. could fight. Um, you know, he had all the fanfare and all the buzz behind him, um, but then he ran into Ray Mercer and he beat the shit out of him to a point in, like in, in the Mercer. corner. <laughs> and I think the masses are going to be happy when Jake Paul meets his Ray Mercer and gets his ass whipped, which could happen, but shout out to Jake Paul because he's only picking fights that, you know, he has a high winnable percentage because I, I guess, you know, He's probably going to get X amount regardless of who he's fighting, unless you know you go real high in terms of the tier. So if you're going to make five million for fighting Tyron Woodley, or you would make five million for fighting, I don't know, insert power punching murderous person here, fucking fight Woodley. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear that, but still, I was expecting more from from Woodley. From a 59 year old, from Woodley, not yes, Holyfield. Yes, okay. yeah, 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 you're not to. Yeah, man, yeah, I was but, but Holyfield because, because, should play himself. But look, I, I know, I know. Look, Woodley's UFC fighter, Jake Paul's boxing. Yeah. He's going from UFC to box. Mm -hmm. There's still striking involved. I'm not sure. 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 I don't know what these uh, complete combat. I've seen him knock people out in right. the UFC, but different I would gloves. think somebody who was experienced like that as a combat fighter would have done better fighting somebody who was way less experienced. You know what I mean? Even though the other guy may have had a height and a weight advantage, I still expect it more. But yeah. if this guy has been doing, in fairness to Jake Paul, no disrespect to Woodley, if Woodley's been in a situation where MMA is everything. So you train in everything. He's focused on footwork, boxing, boxing shit. Now you came into the and, boxing and, and, world. And to the original point, you know, Ty, shout out to Tyron Woodley, former UFC middleweight champion. He's not at his best. Yeah. You know, like it's the reason why he's fighting celebrity boxers and exactly. not fighting in the octagon anymore because he's kind of lost his way out of the yeah. UFC. Yeah. So you just take... And, and maybe I, he's lost. It was fight. like a more than modest payday. Like I think they got like M's for that. Yeah, yeah. So well, maybe the fight's just not in him anymore. So listen, that, there comes a point for that. Tyson, Mike Tyson attested to that. Like soon as Lennox Lewis cracked his ass in the mouth with the right hand, like this shit ain't in me no more. Or a fifty-nine-year-old Evander right. Holyfield. Fighting for what? Victor Celebrity, or whatever. Right. Like. Well, Evander got all them kids. I'm sure he. That no, man dog. Got some bills. Sixty, dog. <laughs> like, but he didn't dog. But the, the, the worst money, thing right? about it is, that, obviously, that's the most important thing. But like, if if me, you, you, and Evander were all sitting here shirtless, people would look at, oh my God, Evander's a, oh, he's carved out, carved out of granite. He he must be, still be able to whoop ass. And people saw him walking around on diesel. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, let's sign him up for somebody. But that ain't got shit to do with him getting hit in the jaw by somebody younger, faster, stronger. That ain't got shit to do with the decades of him getting hit, of the, jaw. Him getting hit the jaw <laughs> by professional hard pipe hitting people exactly. that are paid to hit you as hard as they possibly can. Like, exactly. you fought Foreman. Like, you mm -hmm. fought Bo. 
Luke, like, I mean, I'd be here all day talking about the Vander fights, but, um, and he didn't run, like, he yeah. fucking yeah. fought. Exactly. So, he put in miles of getting And he was hurt. always a smaller fighter in all them fights, wasn't he? Correct, he was <laughs> a new size heavyweight, but, um, you know, he brought it. So, the fact that a 59-year-old is getting dropped in the first round, I mean. It's not surprising. Yeah, it's not surprising. Well, well, no, it is a little surprising. I do not expect a Vander Holyfield, I'm sorry, once again, have expectations. Yeah. I didn't expect a Vander Holyfield to go out in the first round. Even if he just went on the defensive, mm. you know what I mean. I wasn't expecting truth. truth Damn, truth. I'm not even at 59. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying mission, man. You gonna expect it now? I mean, you probably won't do it. I'm, again, not, I'm not gonna say first round, but I expected you to go the fuck down. Period. You're 59. Like if you go to a for it, fuck Mike Tyson. Do you expect Tyson to go down? Not in the first round. I expect him to go down. I don't know. I don't, I don't even. Do you rip? I mean that's iron. I mean, so, and we're so not, and not, he not the same age, so he not going down. Iron in like a real 52. fight, not like some exhibition. Iron age. like fifty two, so he's, he's not down. going down. Iron younger, so I don't see him going down. You just right said now. he would. No, I I, I bring it back. <laughs> I bring, Mike, Mike, I bring that shit all the way back. You ain't negative. Uh -huh. yeah, all right. yeah, Factual. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I was having a moment. You know what I'm saying? No. Uh. -uh.